Hi guys! So today in this video, you will be seeing me eating! Just kidding, of course not. Today in this video, I'll be showing you how to do some really cute and easy crochet placemats. So first of all, let's start off with this circular brown and orange placemat which I thought was really cool for the fall. So you will need two color yarns, I'm using orange and brown. A size J10 6mm crochet hook and a pair of scissors. So to finally start this off, you're going to start off with a basic slip knot by wrapping the yarn around your two fingers, taking the long strand and putting it over the loop, then taking your crochet hook, you're going to insert that through the loop and then you're going to take out that strand of yarn. And then you're going to pull that knot tight and there you go. Now we're going to do some chains. So to make these chains, you're just going to wrap the yarn around your crochet hook and go through the loop. Really simple. And you will be doing four chains. Your chain should be kind of looking like a braid. Now once you're done, you're going to go into the first chain, grab some yarn, come out, and then slip that into that loop you're currently in. That will be making your slip stitch and a ring. Then you're going to chain three. Then you're going to make a double crochet. To make that, you're going to wrap the yarn around your crochet hook once, go into the ring, grab some yarn again, come out, you'll have three loops, then you're going to grab some yarn again, go through the first two loops, and then grab some yarn again and go through the last two loops. And that's a double crochet. I'm just going to do that one more time. So in this ring, we will be making 11 double crochets. So, so far I have done two and I'll be doing nine more. And this will not be counting the first three chains you made. So in total, you should end up with 12 stitches around the ring. Once you're done doing all of that, you're going to slip stitch into that first chain over there or through that space. And then you are going to take pair of scissors cut off the excess yarn but leave a little bit then you're going to chain one but instead you're going to pull all the yarn through and then you're going to tighten it making your knot and there you go that's your circular base now we are making it a stripey type of thing so I am going to get my other color by making a basis, basic slip knot like always. And then I'm just going to attach that to the circle I already have. And I was kind of having a little bit of trouble because of the sticking out yarns. And if these things are giving you trouble, you could cut it off or hide it away. Once I got it kind of controlled, I just made a slip stitch. And then I crocheted, I chained three. So you're going to chain three. Once you're done doing that, you're going to make a double crochet in the same stitch you're in, or in my case, the same space. So you're going to have two double crochets in the same stitch or space. Then you're going to make a double crochet in the next stitch. Then 
and then another double crochet in the same stitch you're in. So you're just going to do that again. So around this whole circle, you're going to make two double crochets in each stitch. So you will be ending up with 24 double crochets. Once I was done doing that, then I just slip stitch into that first space or chain. And then with my scissors, I just cut off the excess yarn, leaving just a little bit. And then I chained one, pulled all the yarn through, tightened it, and created my knot. Now I already attached my orange color and if you're doing a stripe one with me, you should be doing this every time e on each row. So like always, you're just going to chain 3 and then you're going to make a double crochet in the next stitch. Then you're going to make another double crochet in the same stitch, but it's the next one. Then you're going to make another double crochet in the next stitch. And then another two in the next stitch. So around this whole circle, you will be doing one double crochet in one stitch, then two double crochets in the next stitch. So one, two, one, two. This will be happening around the whole circle. So in the end, you should be ended up with 36 double crochets. So technically, in almost every row we make, we will be adding 12 more double crochets. In all, you're just going to make one double crochet and one stitch, and then two double crochets in the next. Once I was done doing that, I just again slip stitched into that first space or chain. took my scissors, cut it off the excess yarn leaving just a little bit, chained one, then pulled all the yarn through creating my knot. Now I put my brown yarn there and then I chain three and now we're just going to make this pattern a little bit different. We are going to make a double crochet in the next stitch. Then you're going to make another double crochet in the next stitch and another in the same stitch. So the only difference between this row and the last one was you added another double individual uh, double crochet. So it's going two individual double crochets in each individual, individual stitch, then two double crochets in one stitch. So one double crochet in one stitch, another one double crochet in the next stitch, and then two double crochets in the next stitch, but in the same one. So one, one, two, one, one, two. Now this is pretty much going all the way around. So you will be ending up with 48 double crochets on this row. So this is how it's gonna go. On row one, you ended, you started off with your circular base. Then in row two, you always do your three chains and change your yarn. Then you do two double crochets in each stitch around, ending up with, with 24 double crochets. Then in row three, you did your three chains, your two double crochets in each stitch, then one double crochet in the next individual stitch, and all the way around. 
Row 4, 3 chains, 1 double crochet in the next 2 stitches, then 2 double crochets in the next individual stitch. Then row 5, you did your 3 chains, this is going to be in the next stitch, and then you did 3 double crochets in the next 3 individual, individual stitches, and then 2 double crochets in the next 1 stitch. So this is this can be a little complicated, but if you're not getting this, you could watch the video again. Or you could also check the pattern that I just had right now on my screen down below. So technically you're just adding 12 double crochets more in every row. The only thing is you're just increasing the number of individual amount of double crochets by one. Now this is what ended up with my circular base, then my two double crochets in each stitch, then one double crochet in one stitch and two double crochets in the next same stitch, then two double crochets in the next two individual stitches, then two double crochets in the next, then one, one, two, and then one, 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 two. So a little complicated, yes, and I ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or six, I can't tell, um, rows. Once I was done doing my last double crochet, I just slip stitched into the f space or that first chain. And then I chained one, pull all the yarn through because I had my yar yarn already cut, and then pull tight. And then the only last thing to do is either you could just cut all the yarn sticking out yarns or you could hide them I actually hide them most of the time because just in case anything goes wrong I could just use that and no problem and this is what you should end up so now let's do this really cute green white border flower placement so what you'll need is two colors if you're doing it like me I'm using green and white and then I'm using dang I forgot the I think it's a size G or H. If I I don't remember, so I will post it down in the link below. And then a pair of scissors. So like always, I will start off with my basic slip knot because you always have to start off with a basic slip knot when you crochet. And now we're going to make chains again. So for this placemat, it's really simple, I'm just going to make 26 chains. And this is how long you should have it. So once you're done doing 26 chains, you're going to make a half double crochet. So you're going to wrap the yarn around your crochet hook once, you're going to go into that next chain right there, and then you're going to grab some yarn again. You'll have three loops, and then you're going to grab some yarn again and go through all three loops. So it's kind of like a double crochet, but it's half of a double crochet. That's why it's called a half double crochet. I really like this stitch because it's easy, it's fast, and it's really really like it doesn't open up anything it's kind of like a single crochet it's, it's just that it holds it a little bit more and it doesn't make you do too much work like it doesn't take so long and so all you're gonna do is just have double crochet all the way across until your last chain once I was done doing that I chained one then I flipped my work over and then I just started making half double crochets again instead of chains I did stitches so going into that first stitch right there I made a half double crochet and I just did that all the way across
Once I was done doing that, I again chained one, flipped my work over, and then started off with my third row. So this is actually really simple right now. You're just going to do this all the way to the top. So every time you reach the end, you're just going to change one, flip your work over, and then start doing half double crochets again. So you're just going to fill this up, making a rectangle or a square, don't know exactly. But anyways, for this placement, I ended up with 15 rows. You could do that or you could actually add more. So this is what I ended up with and once I was done doing all of that, I just chained one, pulled all the yarn through because I already had it cut and then I just pulled it tight creating my knot. And same thing, you could either cut the yarn off or you could hide it. I just cut it a little bit right now because it was too long. So now we're going to make the border. So with my white yarn, I'm going to make a basic slip knot. And then you're going to work on the green placemat thing so far where you started. So where you started with your first chain is where you're going to start. Not where, well, it actually depends. I just wanted to start there. You could also start from where you just ended your last half double crochet but I started with my where my first chain was so what you do is you're just going to slip stitch your white yarn into the green yarn and then you're going to chain one then you're going to make a half double crochet in the same stitch and then a half double crochet in the next stitch well actually it's a chain, it's not a stitch anymore so you're going to make normal half double crochets and normal chains like you always do or like you just did all the way across and remember, this will be making your border. And you're just going to do that all the way to the end. So once I reach the end of my side of my rectangle thing, I chained two. Then I kind of moved it around a little so I could be on the other side and then I just made half double crochets in that stitch right there. So the two, two chains that you just made help form the corner so it won't make the placemat look curly or weird or anything like that. It will still be making it look like a rectangle. So every time you reach a corner, like around the end of one side, you chain two. You turn your work over a little then you're just going to make half double crochets all the way across like normal so you're just going to do that all the way around the whole green rectangle sleep rectangular square thing yeah and there you see your corner was formed just fine now it can be a little difficult making the half double crochets on the sides where you didn't end with chains or your last row because they're kind of stuck together but you could do it it's really easy anyway so I reached my end I chained two then I slip stitched into that first half double crochet I made in the beginning I chained one well, first, actually, I had to cha uh, cut my yarn. Then I could chain one, of course. And then I pulled all the yarn through. And then I pulled it tight. And I created my knot. So the only thing to do is hide away the yarns or cut them. So once I was done doing that, I glued on these white cute flowers. If you want to know how to make how to make them. I did make a video about it and I will post it down in the link below. So now let's make let's make this really cute 
heart placement. So what you'll need are two colors if you're making it with me. You'll need purple and pink, but if you're making border, that's optional. And then a size J10 6mm crochet hook, and of course a pair of scissors. So first of all, you start off with a heart. Now, if you don't know how to make a heart, I also made a video about that, and I'll post that down in the link below, or you can go to my channel and check that out. And once you're done doing that, you will need four paper clips, or stitch markers, or safety pins. So what you're going to do is, if you have done your heart, that's good. If you haven't, pause the video and go check that out. Or if you already know how, then that's fine. Anyways, so you're going to stick your stitch marker or your paper clip through that treble crochet that you made. That first treble crochet you did after your three chains, if you did the heart like I did. And then with your other paper clip, you're going to do that in the last treble crochet you made, which is the last treble crochet you made before you started off doing half, I mean, double crochets, not half double crochets. Then, you're just going to clip that to the other side, which ended off with the last double treble crochet. These double treble are so confusing. And then you're going to do that to that treble crochet you started off on the other side. So you'll have these paper clips sticking out. Now you will s know why I told you to do this as we work along. So once you have slip stitched your heart and did one chain, you are going to make two half double crochet. I mean double crochets in that chain three space. And then where your blue or whatever first paper clip you paper clip you have, you're going to make a half I mean, oh my gosh, a double crochet in it. But instead you're going to make two in that same stitch. So two half to two double crochets in that same stitch and then in that next stitch right there even though it has no paper clip you're also going to do two double crochets in that same stitch so what we're doing right now is filling up the heart to make it larger and so you're also going to do two double crochets in the same stitch where that green where my green paper clip was or is why ever <laughs> now once I was done now the paper clips have stopped for a while so I'm just going to start making double crochets normally in one stitch so this is how it goes so where the paper clip first start on one side to the other paper clip where it stops on the same side that space in the middle is where you're going to make two double crochets in the same stitch. This helps create the shape of the heart and will stop it from curling too much. So now I'm just going to double crochet in one stitch each time. Not in, not two double crochets in the same stitch, just one double crochet in one stitch. And then the same in the next. Then once I reach my point, I'm going to make a treble crochet because we still want the point of the heart. And then I'm going to make half double crochets to where my paper clip starts on the other side. So now that I have done that, I'm going to make two double crochets in that same stitch where my green paper clip starts. Then I'm going to make two double crochets in that next stitch even though there is no paper clip, but that is the paper clip boundary. That we should call it that. The 
paper clip boundary is where you make two double crochets in the same stitch. And then on my last paper clip right there, I'm going to make two double crochets too in that same stitch. And then I am back at my chain three space and then and then I'm going to make two double crochets in that chain three space. And I was having a little trouble doing it. But things like that happen to every crocheter. Once I was done doing that, I chained one. Then I guess you, oh wait, no, you can. Okay, you are going to then slip stitch into that first double crochet or chain right there, just to that point where you could make the two curves of the heart. And so this is what you should have so far. So if it starts curling, it's all right. Once you place it down and flatten it, it's just fine. So now we're going to make the next layer. So you're going to chain one, and then you, we don't have a chain three space anymore. So you're just going to make half double coat. I mean double crochets in those stitches. And since we're not in the paperclip boundary, just make one double crochet in each stitch. Okay, so where that blue stitch is, so I'm just going to kind of pinpoint that and just going to align that and where I pointed to that stitch right there is where I'm going to start doing two double crochets in each stitch. So I haven't reached it yet, so I'm just going to make that double crochet right there. And now I'm going to make two double crochets in that stitch because that is the paper clip boundary. Then I'm going to do that to the same because even though there is no paper clip right there, it's in between those two paper clips. And then that's where my green paper clip uh, starts or ends I guess and then I'm just going to do that and align it right there and just going to do my last two double crochets in the same stitch on that side. So you're going to make your half double I mean your one double crochet in each stitch all the way to the point, then make your one treble crochet for the point. Then you're going to do that same same thing on the other side. So for each row you make, you're just going to add two double crochets in each stitch in the paper clip boundary. If you do not get this, do not worry. You can watch the video again or you're going I'm going to post uh, put the pattern down below in the description box. So I did the main heart and then I did my rows and then I had this pink border so the only I did the same thing. I didn't change anything for the pink border. I did the two double crochets in each stitch in the paper clip boundary. And then you're just going to remove your paper clips and yeah. So if you have like this thing sticking out for the two curves thing right there, don't worry. I think it's kinda good to hold your bowls or whatever. But if you don't have it that's fine too. And so what you could also do with your placemats is you could add this thing that holds rugs on in place on wood floors or you could put that under the placemat so it could stay still on the table and that's it so i really hope you enjoyed it because i had lots of fun making it and i hope you enjoyed it a lot because i did i had a lot of fun so give this video a thumbs up comment down below and of course, subscribe. Bye.